One of the most amazing ways to learn about the world is to wander around in it and actually do drawings, to draw it. Because drawing it makes you look at it, sit still, and while you're looking at it, you don't just think about your next meal or what you're going to do tomorrow. You also kind of think about what's in front of you and what makes it tick, how, you know, the color, the season, whatever. You, you think, the mind runs around, I've described it, it's just like with, when you stop the car and let the dog out. The mind runs around in circles. But uh, it, it, it does a lot of things while you're drawing one of which is think. I teach a drawing course, and the students have had three courses in computer you know, visualization and all that stuff, but, but by the end of their period at Penn, quite often many of them flock to my drawing course. The reason they come, and something I tell them, which I firmly believe, is that if you want to make decent visualizations with a computer, you better learn how to draw because it's going to tell you what are the measures by which you judge and evaluate visual imagery. It'll help you understand why that computer rendering is, doesn't look right. There's something wrong with it. I can explain to them what's wrong with their computer drawings quite often and if they could learn to draw they would be able to self-criticize them. So drawing for me is not just a personal pleasure, it's a way of working. And if you go into the studio, we can look around and look at different kinds of drawing done at different stages for different purposes. The kind of gestalt drawings versus um, uh, layout drawings versus sketches trying to imagine something in 3D. There's many different ways, and so drawing is, a, such, is an all-purpose tool. Drawing in front of a client is one of the most captivating and engaging things you can ever do. And they love it. They just love it. And uh, for many years, I, you know, and I've found that if, I, if there's a big team meeting on something or other, whatever, Mission Bay in San Francisco, I will usually go in and plonk myself sort of at the middle of the table, and then as the meeting begins to roll, you ask for a piece of paper, and then pretty soon you've taken control of the meeting. And it'd be a table full of lawyers and engineers and architects and other planners and clients, but you can take control of the meeting if you start drawing. And, and, and if you draw over the plan and say, oh, well then what you're saying is this, you know, and you do things and the, that's the power of the pencil. It's very powerful.